All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, our Kakudash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yaki in bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. As you see, this article is from the RT, and it reads, Nuclear war no worse than climate change. Hey, now we understand this is the agenda that E is pushing, ultimately, uh, in order to, you know, um, corral the public into submission and to get them on the side of believing that he has the answers for everything, man. You know, this is a way to, to limit your so-called usage of your freedoms and, and, to, and to put you in subjection under his program, man. Right? He says, warmer temperatures are the number one existential threat to the world, the U.S. top diplomat has claimed. And now you would think they would say nuclear war, you know, is far worse than, than this, than, than what they consider to be climate change. Hey, but the, the, the funny part about it is when he brings up a climate change conversation, he has the power to uh, fix everything that's wrong in the world. Speaking of the environment, man, the number one polluter isn't the people, but it's the corporations in which he runs. They're pumping out fumes into the atmosphere every day. They're um, spreading chemtrails every day. They cause these forest fires in which they say uh, uh, the, the, the general public to, to be wary of, you know, um, for example, uh, when if you ever been, um, you know, in, a, in a, like a campground, they tell you a certain places in that campground where you can't, you know, start fires. You know, it must be contained in certain areas Well, the same devil will use do technology, which are direct uh, energy weapons. Uh, in order to cause fires that that burn down, you know, uh, miles and miles of uh, of trees and wildlife. And he did it in the, the Amazon, man, hey, which are, are considered the lungs of the earth. That's polluting the earth. And hey, he fluoridates the water, pumps all types of chemicals in the water and then bottles it, sells it to the public and then tells you, hey, stop using single use plastics. So he creates these scenarios and these problems that he's telling the public to avoid when he's the one that controls these markets. The food you eat is genetically modified, so there's no nutritional value within it. You know, then he's telling you, oh, these are these are the alternatives to take to uh, to eat. Oh, eat this roach milk or drink this roach milk. Oh, eat this uh, this lab grown chicken, eat this lab grown fish. As if the world wasn't already in harmony and balance and order with perfect structure. A hey, before he started ruling. A hey, when when the shutdown happened, the earth began to to um come back to equilibrium, man. It began to restore itself. Much like a human body, a hey, it restores itself, you know, when given rest. Right? But here they're telling you. A, that war is not as bad as them fucking up everything. This is the threat of nuclear annihilation is no more serious than the threat of climate change. Um, it says, in appearance, on 60 Minutes Australia on Sunday, Blinken was asked whether nuclear war or climate change represent the greater threat to humanity. Well, you can't, I think, have a hierarchy. There are some things that are front and center, including potential conflict, but there's no doubt that climate represents an existential uh, challenge to all of us so for us this is the existential challenge of our times this doesn't mean that in the meantime there are not severe challenges to the international order like russia's aggression against ukraine and they always bring that up but then they tell you that that ukraine is winning you know this is how the devil gets down man we're not ignorant of satan's devices the verbiage he uses and even the the witchcraft within his media is used to support his uh his narrative it says with july set to go down as the hottest month in history and it's been really weird here in vegas man you know we've been having days uh 116 118 117 then it rained on the 117 day then it hails the next day after 115 you know uh, then it flash floods after 113 you know all of these weird weather patterns which we ultimately know that esau you know uh controls you know, uh, weather modification technology, you know, that was part of, uh, you know, his blessing because it's ultimately a, just another form of the sword, right? 
So I want to grab this in the book of Psalms. You know, because ultimately them bringing forth, you know, uh, all these talks about climate change and carbon footprints is them, you know, <clears throat> matter of fact, I'm also grab this. Is them ultimately, ultimately trying to bring in certain laws and rules a, that are going to be grievous to you a, because it's going to control you completely, man. A, e telling you, oh, uh, <clears throat> you know, watching your carbon footprint, so forth and so on. And he's telling you, well, you can't have an influx of this. Now we get to control exactly how much of this you eat, exactly how much of this you drink, what type of clothes you can wear, you know, because that's that's all a part of of, of that system that they're trying to implement. This Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, Right. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. When you read all this in the NLT, it says, what sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws, right? They deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among my people. They prey on widows and take advantage of orphans, right? So in this whole climate change uh, conversation, hey, what happens? The elites are telling you, oh, well, Stop doing this. This type of behavior causes the earth to warm up. They have literally blame cows for farting as, as part of the reason as to why the earth is heating up. They blame the animals in nature as to why the earth is heating up, man. That's that's they've ran or tried to create a pseudo evidence on this, man. Cows. Livestock being being livestock. Hey, they're not they're not doing anything out of the ordinary. You know, they're they're eating the same grass they was eating uh hundreds of years ago, man. You know, of course it is hey, it's GMO grass and shit like that now. But nevertheless, they're they're still doing the same uh uh behaviors in which they were doing thousands of years ago. What changed is that you have the devil ruling with much rigor, a hey, and no care for, for anything. That's why the scripture tells us this in the book of Isaiah, the 24th chapter. <clears throat> it's Isaiah 24. <clears throat> I started at four. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. What well, Esau, hey, he doesn't observe the land Sabbath. Hey, he doesn't allow the land to rest. You know, he wants everything to, to, to be a uh, microwavable, man. He wants everything now at an instant. You know, no patience. You know, no, no wait period. That's why he sets up these certain labs to create this lab grown meat, lab grown chicken. Oh, oh, now we, we we're able to produce squashing in 13 days instead of waiting three months or however long it takes for a squash to 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 naturally, uh, um, you know, come up, man. He wants everything done on his time. When Yahweh Bashem Shah created everything appointed for his time of perfection. And then these devils go and point the finger at you saying, oh, oh, your carbon emissions for your for your um for your vehicles. Oh, by 20 and 30, 2030, we don't want no um uh gas based uh vehicles upon the road. Hey, but these are the same devils that take private jets and are flying 60 to 120 times a year, man. So the, the hypocrisy of, of what Esau is telling you, hey, because he's telling you one thing, right? That's what hypocrisy means, to tell you one thing and to, and to basically break exactly what they said, right? So he's telling you, hey, do this. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Hey, when in the meantime, he's doing all the shit he's telling you not to do because it's about heaping resources and, and, and you know, uh, uh, money, unto them man that's why the scripture calls him a covetous man his desire is as hell he is never satisfied I mean he's never full he wants it all man and wants you to live off the bare minimum hey he wants you to live off less than crumbs but this is his mo this is how the elites get down man they want everybody under subjection under them and they want all resources heaped unto them they want the general public to literally be slaves Hence the, the, the 
MOTB system, a of which they will be CHIPN, a uh, uh, those that bow down unto the image and receive of that mark, man, which is a physical mark, a that that Esau is 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 working in the workings now to make mandatory, man. This is all ultimately for him to be looked at as the Most High. Read Second Thessalonians two, man, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is a uh, um, you know paraphrasing, man. I'm going to close out in Psalm 64. Hey, because this is all the plans of the secret council of the wicked. Right? This is this is all part of the plan of, 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 it's like, of establishing a new world order, man. In which they will rule and be considered a uh, powers upon the earth. This is Psalm 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who wet, which is perfect, sharpen. Their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Right, and this is multiple forms of the sword in which Esau holds. A is food and drug administration is part of the sword. You know, a Hollywood industry is part of the sword, uh, which is all all media. You know, it's part of the sword, forms of the sword. You know, laws, framing, framing, framing mischief by law is part of the sword. So legislation, you know, that three party, um, it's like it, that three, um, uh, body Roman system, legislative, executive, and judicial. That's part of the sword. So forth and so on, man. It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying, laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? And they're doing this by setting the traps within uh, the people who are desperate, man. Those that want this American society to continue, those are going to be the ones, same ones that end up with their, their foot caught in a bear trap. It says they encourage themselves in the evil matter. They let they commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. And the scripture tells us, hey, this man is, is wiser as Dan, wiser than Daniel in his wickedness. Right? It says um, both the inward thought of them, of every one of them, and the heart is deep. Right? But Yahweh shall shoot at them with the arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So ultimately, Yahweh Shem is going to allow their enterprise to fully be set, as it says in the book of uh, Job, man, you know. <clears throat> so I just want to bring this lesson out to the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.